I have had my vintage store for 25 years. It has always been a mix of old and new. I like to find things from estate sales, yard sales, and thrift stores. This week, I found the most epic thrift store that I have ever been to, and we bought a whole cart full of stuff. When I shop for my store, I am extremely picky. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. So I'm gonna share with you what I buy, why I buy it, how much I paid, what I sell it for. I also got a few things to flip into home decor. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a really fun video. Monday, everybody. I am almost to Debbie's house. I'm actually just pulling in her driveway right now. We are gonna see what we're gonna do today. I don't know if we're gonna go to Oceanside this week or if we're gonna try something new since we've been going there a lot. It seems like there's not that many thrift stores. Um, there's a lot in Escondido, which is like 30 minutes away. So I don't know if Debbie wants to drive that far. I'm but... up to Debbie's and this is the first thing I'm seeing, which I'm a little scared on what that could mean. Good morning, why are you filming my messy house? <laughs> What's on the stairs? Project for Grandpa. We're going to Valley Center. This is the place that we've been talking about going to for a very long time. We avoided coming here. How many times did I ask you? Too many times, <laughs> make me so mad. <laughs> she was losing patience with me because I'm like, I don't know if I want to it is a 40 for... minute drive. So. Yeah, and so if it's not good, then what? What's it called? Valley Thrift Store. Valley Thrift Store. Yeah. There's an overflow parking lot. Ellie says it's really big. Oh, you gotta have cash though. Why didn't you tell me that? Oh my but god. But they have ATM. But do they charge you like three dollars to get your money out? Yeah, I think it's like two bucks. But it's not bad. It's like oh, two bucks. Right? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. That's some serious car load. Just wait till you see how much Debbie got and how much she spent. Okay, I'm pumped for this. As soon as I walked in, I knew it was going to be good. We spent three hours in here. I always look for really good quality with an artistic flair, but it also has to be at a price that I can resell it. Each tag was color coded. It was either 75, 50, or 25% off. Under those brown curls. Things that are handmade, like these vintage aprons and this crocheted quilt, take so much time to make and are not easily found in our modern manufactured world. The world is yours. Strike them with your glow. Be good, be fine, live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind, live, it's your life. Rocks are meant to be picked off and thrown. The crazy quilt was something that I have never found in the past. This little cotton skirt with the pink frogs was hand sewn. Before Ellie picked me up to go thrifting, I had gone to work out and then I stopped at my favorite free furniture spot. Okay, I'm back at the place and it looks like there's some things. Let's get out and see what's happening here. This is really cute, but a drawer is missing. It looks like someone took the drawer. These spindly legs could be good for the Christmas ornaments and there's the drawer over there under the table. The desk is cute. Should I take the desk? I feel like I should. Dang it. I don't know. Maybe I should just take the drawers. I really just want the doors and the drawers, but I didn't bring a screwdriver. I just take a bunch of drawers. I have like 10 of them in my back, back there. I don't know why I feel guilty or like I just did something wrong. I feel like they put that stuff out for people to take and I just ruined it for someone who actually needs a desk, but I did it. 
Was it wrong? This is the first item from my thrift store haul. It says $6. It was actually $4. I bought one for $4 and then the clerk broke it. So he gave me this one for the same price. My idea from last week is to find a vase that's kind of shaped like a lady's head with a neck down at the bottom. Remember, I stamped her last week. I put her in my purse because I wanted to make sure the vase was the right size, but I'm gonna paint the vase white because the paper's see-through and then decoupage her on and hopefully have, have flowers coming out of the top of the vase like it's her hair or something. Because DIY paint is heavily pigmented and there is so much clay in it, it works like a primer. So you can paint right over ceramic. The first coat you wanna let sit for 24 hours. It's gonna go on a little weird looking. Then come back, give it a second coat no problem. I am using our crystal clear chandelier to decoupage the paper onto the base. It works like a decoupage medium or a transfer gel. It is amazing. It's also a top coat. You think I'm missing you every night. Every night. You think I'm sad and alone. Also alone. But don't take credit for these red eyes. Cause baby, it is Tuesday morning. I'm headed down to the store to meet my dad, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of the inside of my car. It's going to be a long, fun day. We have to price all this stuff, get it out, start setting up, getting ready for the holidays, list everything on the website. I'm meeting my dad. We have a big project and I have to go to the bank. Dad, how come you never answer your phone? Church was two days ago. Yeah, but I don't talk to a lot of people. Well, you would if you had your phone on. <laughs> Levi, let's work today. Rosie's here, Grandpa's here. Dad, what are you working on? <laughs> One of your inventions. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? I don't know. <laughs> so I brought all the drawers that I got to the store. And I want my dad to do something fancy to our paint display. This is the before. For all of you who comment about how I put the camera up really high, this is why I like it high. It's not flattering down low. So I just went and gathered up a bunch of, these are the old drawers. I got old molding and frames and parts and bits and stuff that everyone asked me to throw away, but I never do because I want to redo the paint cabinet. I'm about to bring my dad in here and tell him what I want to do. Keep in mind that he doesn't like old stuff. He wanted to go to Home Depot for that project that he's working on out there and I wanted him to use old spindle legs instead and he wanted to go buy brand new dowels. I'd love to see his expression when I have this big project that involves old things. He calls it primitive Pete. I'm gonna tell you this story later, it's really funny. Hey dad, was I right about these? They're, they're much better than new dowels, don't you think? Well, yeah, but some of them, you know, don't uh, fit. I know, but you you make them fit, right? Well, no, they weren't long enough. Can you come inside? Because I, I have a project that I want to discuss with you. Okay, let me just screw these. Levi, you ready? You see all of these drawers and parts and stuff? Yeah. I want to take apart the drawers and cut up the frames, and I want to scab them onto the paint display. I want to redo the paint display and make it so that when people see the color, they can also see a sample of something painted in that color. Now, remember how we did that out in the classroom? We're going to do that again. It's your favorite, right? It must have been years ago. No, it was last <laughs> year. How do you say this color right here? Haka there. All right, <laughs> this is one of the cottages. I'm in the process of redoing it. And I've come to the decision that it's time for the jewelry bar to go. People rifle through it and leave it looking disastrous. They don't put the charms back in the place they're supposed to go. And I've had it. it. It makes me twitch. So we're gonna bag all this up and put it into mystery bags. We've got all kinds of really good stuff. Any order over $100 is gonna get a mystery bag. We've got ring blanks, beautiful charms, 
findings. Yeah. You guys, this jewelry bag is gonna be worth about $40. So in order to get a freebie, you gotta go spend $100 on DIY GoGo and you will receive this mystery bag. I am filming at the store, so there's gonna be background noise. Oh my goodness, there's a trash truck across the street. We're using this, the new stamp from the holiday release. Jenny already made a bunch of the snowmen. We're gonna do a snowman garland out of these cuties. We're gonna use our deckled edge paper is the retro stamp. Take a train ride just to see in my dad's work area and my dad is pilfering the merchandise. Look, the price tag is on it and he took one of our little wheelbarrows to put his screws in. Why? We're gonna go ask him right now what, what he's doing with this. I found this back in your workstation. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Well, those were extra nails. And. So I thought it'd be cute to put him in. He's starting to decorate, so I think I might be rubbing off on him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should merchandise it that way for the handyman. Jenny and Levi are in doggy jail. Did you do wrong? Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> they fit you? Those are so cute. We put Levi in doggy jail because he kept barking at other dogs. Okay. Those are going to be on the website, you guys. The European 43. Whatever a European 43 is, it's, those are it's cute. Fair. Also, we got a fresh shipment of overalls in. I've been waiting for these ones to come in. Look at how cute they are. The sun is shining right on me, but I wanted to show you. These are the super baggy cut overalls. Also got the bandana style ones. We had these last spring and then they sold out and they've been sold out forever. So we finally have them back. They also come in the black denim. And these are brand new, these patchwork ones. We have them all on the website. You can see them really good there. And then these are the ones that I'm wearing right now. I'm keeping these. Like they're lightweight, comfy, and baggy. So keep that in mind. We also got more of these super cute button up shirts. We sold out of those and these are back on the website. My store is a mix of vintage, creative supplies, and new, but if it's new, I want it to reflect the creative lifestyle. and you busted loose. He knows the sound of his car. You were out on probation, but then you went all ballistic on that dog again. So back in dog jail. My dad completed this project. Now all we have to do is paint all the little pieces with the different colors of paint that we sell. Okay, Jenny, what size are you wearing? I'm wearing a medium. Isn't it the coolest sweatshirt you ever saw? She's a good girl. Loves her mama, Jesus, and America too. I'm wearing that to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Jenny was wearing the other one. I'm wearing this one that says coffee weather. This one is a little bit shorter. It's more of a crop style. I like it with a tank top hanging out. Both of them are on the website. They're very soft. They're very good. Jenny's is a longer style. Jenny put the first coat on this dog that we got at the thrift store. DIY paint will work like a primer coat because of all the clay. You just have to let it sit overnight. This was a ceramic dog. I think we paid like three bucks. So I'm gonna give it the second coat. All these bananas on my birthday cake Remind me that I'm young I feel it just like yesterday out in the sun. Friday morning, it's been a minute
minutes since I've gone to check out the free furniture. I just finished my workout, so we're gonna drive over there and see if there's anything. I've got this brainstorm idea and I need the top of a round table. Those little pie crust tables or whatever they call them. I never see those, but maybe my dad can just cut a round piece of wood. <laughs> we're gonna go. The only thing today is an empty box and a headboard. So, we'll have to save it for another day. Okay, this was $4. I need to take all that stuff off, sand off the front. If my idea is correct, I think it's gonna be really cool. I did not find the top to a round table, but I did find this old sign for $4 at the thrift store. I think they sell the same round wood pieces at Home Depot for 12-ish dollars. The Christmas transfers always sell out, but I noticed that this transfer has a very Christmas vibe and it's not a Christmas transfer. We're gonna use these flowers to create a Christmas-ish wreath. This is the Collage de Fleurs. Odie always picks these Frenchy names that I cannot pronounce. Apparently, Bibelots is Bibelo. I stand corrected. What, what are you doing? <laughs> the master's will. <laughs> so good. You just got to put the wire up there now. We use the botanist journal transfer. Jenny did and an old window. You guys ever put transfers on old windows? They turn out beautiful. Dad, can you do it? You can cut it out and then we'll measure. Okay. Okay. What do you think of this idea? Well, it's another one of your... <laughs> <laughs> what? Weird. <laughs> the word weird is something to be proud of, in my opinion. It, what does weird rhyme with? Weird beard. <laughs> weird beard and proud of it. Jenny, what do you think of my ideas? Hey, your ideas always work, so I guess I have to like it. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about this, but I love it now. <laughs> Jenny's painting all of our parts. We'll have a bunch of different samples of all the different colors that we sell right next to our paint. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. Pretty without you. Pretty without you. Pretty without I use dark and decrepit to stain the round piece of wood. It is easy cleanup water based and it has a built in sealer so the transfers glide right over the top of it. We could, we could screw it to the here. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna be cute. What do you think? What do you think, Levi? We've been to our store. This is where we have all the stamps, but we need a shelf up there so we can display things that we make with the stamps. Like this, we made him in the last video. And I'm gonna put a little Christmas garland up there and put a bunch of samples of the things you can make. Levi, he always finds the comfortable place. Would you like to try something on? Would you like to try on our new overalls or one of our cute cozy sweatshirts, Levi? What do you think of the boutique? I like the way you hung well, I just like being close to you When you're gone I feel so blue Yeah, I like the way you hung well, Most of the things you see are on our website, but if you see something that's not, send us an email. Uh -huh. I like the way you know that dance song. And I like the way you hold my hand on. You spin me all across the floor. cute little bow and I put some holiday greens. I haven't glued it yet because I think I'm gonna staple gun it instead. So I've just gotta figure out how I'm gonna fix it and then hang it on the door. Yeah, it looks very, very holiday. 
After the paint on my dog had dried, I put a coat of Big Top Sealer over that and I let that dry for 24 hours so then I could apply the transfers. Feel For I am with thee Be not dismayed For I am thy God And I will strength Yeah, I will help thee And I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store or for all the products used in this video, mm -hmm. click the link below. And I will uphold you with the right hand.